Oh man, I'm totally bugging out. Uh... <laughs> uh, welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody, and our Hydrocraft playthrough. Yes, as you can tell, the character does look slightly different. I have been doing some bits and bobs. Um, I put on the ammo strap thing that we found the other day. Completely forgot to equip that, so we're wearing that now. Also, I am wearing a scarf and a balaclava which I've made from wool. So we have those. And because I've got the um, the repair any clothes mod, I can put load of the patches onto everything, which is great because <laughs> if we inspect the iron armor, I can put leather patches on the iron armor and end up with 100% by 100% scratch when I give each level 10 tailoring. <laughs> oh, which is just absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah, on top of that, I've been grinding a lot, an awful lot. And I just want to show you the protection tab here. Now, the main issues are the hands and the neck. The, the upper arms, I think, are bad because of, uh, where are we? Because our jacket is poor condition, because I keep tearing it up. Same with the legs, but even then, they are 100%, 100%, upper torso, lower torso, head, all 100%. It's the, the hands, the arms, and the neck which are the problem, and I don't think there is any way to get those higher than what I actually have equipped because like I say the scarf here if uh, if we inspect this it adds 4% by 18% scratch 4% bullet you know it's it's pretty pretty good then if we inspect the balaclava we're getting a further 4% by 8% scratch 4% bullet you know it's it's pretty pretty decent I'm I'm quite happy with how protected we are in this equipment i'm just curious if there is anything in any better than this that you guys can let me know so what have i actually been doing then i have been mass growing cotton growing as much cotton as i can i'm just processing that and running that through trying to get as much tailoring experience as i can i've got a bunch of beeswax not really using it so the beehive i'm just leaving leaving bee for now ha pun intended um yeah so obviously when that's full and whatever it's done i'm just i'm just gonna leave it and maybe harvest it just before the cold weather hits um i only got two banana trees going there's not much point in mass producing bananas without the spirulina to make fitness drinks etc etc i've also been making sausages and they've gone stale really quick to say they're in the fridge i've got some frozen ones etc so yeah there's no negative on them though to say that they're stale which is decent and the bananas have just come in wonderful right let's harvest harvest those please thank you thank you so they go straight back down and we get a bunch of bananas might as well eat those instead and a bunch of banana seeds which i'm just chucking up here in this one which is our main sort of seeds that we're growing so we've got lemons we've got cotton we've got candleberries etc etc but i don't want to start planting a crop just yet we have other things that we want to do we want to start looking at everything here all this lot i was lucky in the junkyard and i got some bicycle wheels so we can eventually do a steam charger when we get battery array we might be stuck because of steel pole though i don't know whether or not we need the metalworking magazine in order to actually do this i'm hoping we don't i honestly i can't remember i know you've got to use the steam hammer thing if i recall rightly but for now, we want to have a look at just making a steam machine because we, I think we need to make two of them. I think we need to make one for the hammer and then a further one for the charger. So we need steam engine and iron furnace. So let's have a look now for a furnace. Here we are. I can't see if we're looking. Wow. Yeah, so it's the thermocouple, the valve and the iron rods, which is 
probably all over there. I just haven't brought them over. So thermocouple, again, is the issue. So we look for that. Thermo. And there it is. Thermocouple. So it's thermocouple wire, scrap electronics, calculator, thermometer, and the electronics workbench. So we go again and we look for electronics. So we'll put electronic in. And where are we? Make electronics workbench. So over here, we have everything apart from a ham radio and a copper wire. Oh, ham radio. Huh. Where can I get a ham radio? I don't know if I've seen one spawn. The only where only place I can think of that I know there's always a ham radio is all the way up here by the blockades in the military area, which I don't want to go to. Um, damn, is there might be some in the cabins in the woods. I can't recall if there is one in the cabin here, this one. I can't recall if there is. I might have to check the map and go for a little excursion and get one. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's us stuck for the moment. So... We can go inside at least. Oh, they just rot as I walked over them. That was very weird. Very, very weird. Let's uh, let's come in here and have a look now at our small rolling mill. So we can craft a helper on you. We can actually make a copper wire. We can make electrum wire. We need to... What else? The thermocouple wire is constantin and copper. So how do we make constantin wire? Constantin ingot which I'm sure we can make out of copper and something else, isn't it? Is it copper? Oh, wait, does that need zinc? Ah, I think it's our metalworking that is keeping us behind with that as well. Right, so I need to grind that out too. Okay, so it might be level 6 or it might be level 7, but we're getting, we're getting closer. I need to focus more on this now. Like I say, I've done... A lot of nimble training. We're nearly at level 10. I ran out of water in the system, so I just let it be. The cooking, we're a third of the way through level 5, which is pretty nice. Mechanics, I haven't touched. Tailoring, we're all the way up to nearly 400 experience into level 4. And yeah, everything else is just slow and steady. First aid, I am really neglecting, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Also, with our running around sprinting, we've got 483 experience into level 3. This is all quite large to say that we are... Where are we? We are slow learner. So everything does take a little bit longer. So at least I know where I'm standing now and what I need to do, the skills I need to grind. So I'm going to go grind all that lot up, hopefully not have any bad experiences. And I'm going to check the map project and have a look, see if I can find somewhere with a ham radio, because I, I may have disassembled some. I just can't remember. So, yeah, I'll get cracked on with that. Great stuff. Ah, according to the map, there is a another solitary cabin. Um, it's the one I used to go to as the stop-off. I used to, when I, when I was first playing the game, I would always spawn in, run to McCoy, loot those two, and then head up through the opening there. Then there is a cabin somewhere around here. I think it's there. I think it's there, because all this stuff is kind of relatively new since I did this sort of run. Then I'd stay there, loot it up. If I had a big enough bag, I would take the antique oven. And I would head to this farmhouse here. And this would always be my base. It was my base many, many times for long periods of times. Because it had ample space for cars. You know, you could knock the wall out upstairs and put your generator up there. And it hit the tool shed as well as the house. It was, it was a fantastic place to make a base. But I'm not going there. I think I may have made a base there recently anyway. I can't recall. Can't recall, so that's a little trip for me. So I just basically need to go to the old base, go for a little tool up the road, come down here, blah, 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 run through there, 
go to the thing, clear it out if needs be, spend the night there, pick it up and come back. So yeah, I'm going to do that one off camera. It's a bit boring, blah, 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 blah. So what else do we have to neb at then other than grinding up skills? Um, hmm. Why is that door open? Don't know. Oh yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah, I have been um, replacing the walls. Like, as you can see here, all this lot here has been replaced and plastered. It looks quite nice in the white. I may just leave it as white, honestly. And I've done the same out here as well. Looking sharpish, I think. And if we go, uh, if we go back in here and up our wall into our new upstairs area. We have a nice enclosed room here. I am thinking of putting large glass panes where all these are now. And I do need to continue plastering. Like I say, I've run out of water. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But I'm thinking of glass panes here, etc. Then we have roof access via this here. So we could put something on the roof if we wanted to do so. But yeah... That's what I have been doing. I've also... Oh, I hate it when you get the wonky sprite. I need to replace that. Um, I've also... Yeah, gridded out the area that we're going to put the... Glass for... Ujaris for greenhousing. I don't know whether or not it needs fully encasing, etc, etc. So there is all that to contend with. But yeah ham radio and let's in fact before i i go off on an adventure let's make some copper wire so if we go here copper make huh make copper wire small rolling mill am i not in range of it oh, i am now there we go janky character placement okay so let's make copper wire Oh, it uses the welding torch. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's probably what is hindering us at the moment. Yes, we are out of welding. Right, disassemble the welding set. Are you in the main inventory? Yes, you are. Then come out here and over to our biogas refinery. Grab uh, five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. Then biogas. Make biogas like so. Chuck you anywhere. Will you go in one of these, maybe? That one. Yeah, there we go. Then assemble the welding torch again. Lovely. Sorted. Back into Doggo, please. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We'll leave it out, we'll leave it out. Right, let's make a little bit more wire. So, how many copper wire was it that we we need? Um, Make copper cable, you need vulcanized rubber. Yeah, okay. Make coil, no idea. Or iron rod. Thermocouple wire, five units. Okay, so yeah, we're going to need a couple. I'm not sure how many are in a spool of copper wire, but we're going to make a couple more. We'll make like five or something like that. So one, two, three, four, and chuck those on the floor. And one more, please. There we go. Okay, so now we need to look for Constantan or whatever it's called. So let's put con, Const and see what comes up. Um, Obviously, Construct. Right, Constant Ingot. Yes, seven. Right, okay. And it's nickel and copper in order to do that. So I've got a lot of metal working to do. And it is Blast Furnace. Ah. Does it need coke? No, it's charcoal only, thankfully, but it is Blast Furnace, right. We might be getting to the point where we need to upgrade this smelter to the Blast Furnace now, honestly. Right, if I... If I right-click you, and I go all the way down here. And craft help you, and I want to upgrade... The craft helper is very laggy, as we all know. Recycle. Uh, where are we? 
Upgrade to blast furnace. Okay, so red bricks, bellows, wood crates, wood beams, planks, iron pulley, steel pulley, wood pulley. Right. Wooden bucket. So two wooden buckets of concrete as well. Right. That's the big ones. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Let's grab one and two of those. We should have some concrete outside. Over here, I think. Yep. Make concrete all two of those. Wonderful. Yeah, because I don't want to be running back to the other base every single time I want to do steel now. We, we're, we're getting more advanced with our smithing. I'm probably going to go up there and bring everything back down here, honestly. Right, drop you, drop you. Get some food in us. And I'll get the rest of it together and upgrade it. Right, okay, I'll bring you back when I've done the grinding and I've done the upgrading. And we can start looking at our electronics bench. And I'm back. Yeah, I haven't quite got the metal working yet. Still need to work on that one. But we are ready now to actually make our electronics bench, thankfully. So we can do that now straight away. Oh, that's took some doing that one. That really has. But it is there. It is done. We can start making everything. Research battery array. Ooh, so we need a car battery with clamps, electrical engineering, a solar panel, and a sheet of paper. And electric level three. Cool. So that's pretty good. Um, we do need to anchor this, I believe, which is an issue because I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put it. Um, hmm. Let's go into here and have a look. I I have been out and about looking at other things. I might just put it here, honestly. Um, yeah, I've been out and about looking at other things, been to different locations. Like I said, I got that big orange bin for whilst I'm mining. I can junk everything in there. It's a lot better. I made the furnace, etc. I picked up all the rotten fruits and vegetables to make more compost from where were we? from this place here so we've done all that i went to the cabin uh there was one zombie inside it and i didn't see a zombie on the way so pretty easy just drove to this corner hopped uh, along the tree line to the edge of the field and then went straight down easy peasy yep and i also went back up here yeah spent some time back up here fighting some zombies i checked the fuel station there was no magazines i checked the tool place it was a bit poo general store again rubbish and then i checked the the sheds outside all i got was i think a propane torch uh, a wood glue and some duct tape which i have already used so yeah not super duper fantastic but it is what it is but anyway let's uh, anchor this bad boy oh no it's gone through the wall Oh, no. Oh, that's annoying. I can't pick it up now. How much does it weigh? A thousand. Wow. Can I grab heavy bag? Oh, I can. Oh, it's come up with an error, though. No, it's still not letting me do it. Damn it. I wanted to just reposition it. Anyway, we've got an electronics workbench. Capacity of 130 in it, so that's pretty nice. Now, let me have a look on the floor here. Got scrap electronics and boxes of scrap electronics. We can put those into the electronic bench like so. So now that we have this, we can uh, sort electronic parts to start with, which is a way of training the thing. But we need battery textbook for all the battery related things, which is annoying. We need car battery with clamps. So to make an electrical clamp, we need a soldering gun, a clothespin, and copper wire. So I think we'll make a few of those, actually. We should have copper wire left over over here. Yes, we do. So let us grab all of that. And then we want our clothespins, which should be up in here. Yep, 14 of those. There we go. Then soldering gun with power. Huh. 
I'm sure I've got a sol soldering gun somewhere. Okay, let's pop those in there then. And let's have a look through here. So we want to look for solder and a soldering gun. So there's a soldering gun. There's some solder. There's a solar panel, which we can pop into the other thing. And what is it to repair this? Scrap electronics and electrical six. Right. Where are we? We are on four and a bit. Oh gosh, we've got some way to go. But yeah, it's small battery for the soldering gun. So now we can make electrical clamps. Might as well make all of them. There we go. Bob those in there. Bob that in there. Move the battery. Insert another one. Because we've got plenty of small batteries. Uh, plenty of dead ones. Wow. Ah, we've got a small battery pack here. Let's open that. And we should have some more somewhere kicking around. I'm sure I've picked up multiple packs of small batteries but anyway it doesn't matter right bob uh yeah you've got power so bob you in there bob you in there and we want to go outside now and get some batteries it, uh in fact we might as well grab all of them save them being out here they actually have a place now look how many is here oh uh i also got a generator uh i forgot to say that and i also got a new vehicle but I crashed it just at the way back home. This black thing here, I crashed it into there and killed the engine. So I can't bring the cars in. I was going to bring both of them in and start like a little garage sort of area over there and have the nice cars over here. I've been working on, on our Ferrari as well, which is pretty nice. Why am I so overloaded as well? What's going on with that? Is it really these bananas? 2.6? Yeah, I, I guess ish uh yeah it's starting to look pretty nice we've got some things 100 percent i've done the bodywork 100 percent can't make the windows just yet can't repair the glove box though which is strange can't do anything with that the fuel tanks 100 batteries 100 engine i can't repair mufflers 100 i don't think i can repair the heater either which is a shame and i've got one good performance tire full lot of performance brakes and a performance suspension and then headlights is easy enough done but I'm not doing it at the moment. It's weird how your character spins away from the car when it closes the lid. Very, very weird, but hey-ho. Um, right. What am I carrying that's overloading me so much? This is not not right. Can't be right. No, I, I don't know. It's probably because we're knackered. Right, let's go... Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't even pick the batteries up. Wow. Distracted much. Okay, so we've got plenty of batteries here. I probably should have got the forklift to do this, but never mind. So let's get all these inside. All of them over here. And we will put them... Oh, they all won't even go in there. That's, a... That's strange. Really? Stack encumbrance 40. So we've got a weight of 40 just in scrap electronics. Wow. Okay, uh, so attach clamps. It needs two clamps per battery, obviously. But there we go. So we've got clamps. Batteries with clamps. Right, we want the electronic engineering book now. And a piece of paper. I think it might be a smart idea to take a few sheets of paper over there. Because I'm sure there's other things you need to make and use paper with for the electronics thing so let's grab uh i don't know just do it until it yeah 240 yeah i think that's going to be enough right electrical engineering electrical engineering but there we go so we need to take that one and we are overburdened let's see if we can transfer them into the backpack but yeah i've just been uh trying to work on the character trying to improve certain things and doing a bit of research trying to get some foresight going but yeah there's a couple of things i kind of wish i didn't do for this character now like um there was no point taking axeman i mean absolutely no point in taking axeman um the whole 
thing about fire resistance. I've I've heard. Well, I haven't heard. I've looked up the uh, passive skill that you get from metal worker or from firefighter actually gives you fire resistance, so you're less likely to get burnt while smelting with that, which nobody has ever said anything about that before but yeah that is the thing so if you wanted to get burnt less do that <laughs> which is absolutely crazy um right anyway let's research our battery array so we've got solar park blueprint yeah and we can read that so now we can build battery array build solar park build solar panel recharge battery Upgrade to solar generator, plug in solar generator, and unplug solar generator. Wow. Okay, so how many do we need? We need four solar panels, a steel pole. Is that going to stop us again, really? I think it might. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We're stuck with that metalworking magazine again. Is that going to be the new blight? It might be. It really, really might be. Okay, so we can train our electronics. We can get a hearing aid going pretty soon, hopefully. I can do that off camera. That's not a problem. So it was metalworking, wasn't it? If I... Where are we? Yeah. If I just double check again, I know. Steam engine, iron furnace. Okay. Steam engine and iron furnace. So let's go for steam. See what comes up and steam engine we need i think we've got pretty much everything haven't we so we need a plank an iron pole and iron ingots can we actually make the iron pole and two iron pulleys oof right okay then a wood beam which i'm sure we've got over here or at least we should have. If not, I've got some wood. Some logs now. Wooden beam. Why Why don't I just use this? Yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, no. Grab one. And grab one. There we go. That should be enough wood beams, I hope. But yeah, this is, this is pretty much it now for me. I need to train skills. Again. Again. Right. Drop you down. There we go. So... It's iron, two iron pulleys, an iron wheel, an iron pole, some iron rods. I think I needed planks as well. But, yeah. Yeah, not great. Uh, okay, right, I'll have a sleep. I'll try and get everything together, and we'll see if we can actually build a thing. Oh, dear. I don't think we're going to have enough small batteries. I really don't. How many do we have in here? Not very many. Most of them are dead. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to really train up everything that we want to train up without getting the charger. Right. Let's dismantle as many things as we can. And yeah, I think that's going to be about it. So... What I want to know now is how do we make circuit boards? Make circuit print. So we need a pen or a pencil. Have I not got a pen or a pencil? Are you kidding me? Oh, they've run out. Oh. Right, well, okay, let me grab one of you, and you, and let's go for a little wonder. Little, little wonder. But yeah, I've got a lot, a lot of grinding to do. I've got a lot of iron to dig up, or at least try and dig up. It's annoying when you keep digging up everything else and you crush your character. Really, really is annoying. Is there any pens or pencils left on you? No, I don't think there is. No. No. wonder if there's any in the sea storage. Anything? Make circuit print. There we go. Lovely. Right, so we should have pens and pencils in here somewhere. 
I don't know what they would be classified as. Box of pens. Ha ha. That'll do. It did pick it up, didn't it? No, it didn't. I was too hasty yet again. Uh, where were we? After the paints. No? Am I... Am I missing something here? I know I'm not very well and I'm not quite with it today. But... Huh? Oh, it's there. Right, there we go. Unbox pens. Wonderful. 20 pens. I'm hoping that's going to be enough to last. <laughs> Should blooming hope so. Right. So, with the circuit print, what do we do? Place circuit print on circuit board. So we need empty plastic can. A circuit board with photo lacquer. And a cooking oil. In order to do it. Okay, that's going to be something for later on then, because we can't do cooking oil yet. Great stuff. Great stuff. It's at this point where everything just gets super complex and gets really, really annoying really, really quickly. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Like I say, I've got a big, big grind coming up now. I've got to get a lot of iron. I've got to get our electrical skill up quickly hopefully have a hearing aid next episode that won't be bad but yeah that's gonna be me hope you have enjoyed this one again a bit of a weird one a lot of off-camera stuff for me which is annoying but i don't want to be going out just raiding again this is meant to be more about hydrocraft and the crafting chains and stuff so most of the looting i am going to probably keep off camera for now unless obviously i stumble upon something then I'll pause and record and whatnot. But yeah, that's going to be it for me for this episode. Don't forget to take care of yourselves. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, beef, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You've got 10 nimble. You're meant to be zooming around, but you can't because you're that exhausted. Because you keep pushing the character too much. You really need to stop it really need to start looking after the character or else we're going to end up killing it probably no doubt won't surprise me anyway that's me finally going to bed goodbye